We should get to that ritual tower in the western approach, ideally before it lives up to its name. You mentioned Warden Commander Chlorel. Is she behind this? She's the one who summoned me and the other wardens to Orlais when we started hearing the calling. I don't know her well. She's a mage. Smart, careful, determined. The sort of mage the Templars told me to keep a close watch over. It makes her the best kind of warden. Or at least I would have thought so. Maybe the Templars aren't wrong about everything. Do you think she's helping Corypheus willingly, or was she duped? Laurel would never serve something that looks like a darkspawn willingly. I heard about an advisor of some kind. Maybe we'll learn more at the Western Approach. Corypheus was held in a Warden prison, right? So the Wardens should know all about him. You'd think the Wardens would share information with each other, but they're really big on keeping secrets. Maybe they think some knowledge is too dangerous, I don't know. I only found out about Corypheus after I started digging for information. Even then, it wasn't much. For most Wardens, He'd be nothing more than an old legend, dead long ago. If they knew of him at all. What's it like, being a warden? Oh, it's wonderful. You get fresh peaches delivered every morning, first choice of local village girls, and bunnies too. Or maybe it's not that. Not even close to that. I watched my brothers die at Ostagar soon after I joined. I never thought I'd see Wardens kill themselves. Why were the Wardens trying to kill you? When Chlorel started talking blood magic and demons to deal with the calling, I said it wasn't a good idea. First, it was awkward silences, some coughing. But when I mentioned Corypheus, things really went wild. The Warden Mages said I was interfering, called me a traitor. Funny how often that happens to me. You were there, weren't you? You helped fight the Archdemon. I'm going to be answering that question for the rest of my life. Yes, I was there. It was big. The hero of Ferelden was brave. <laughs> but that was ten years ago. What have you done for us lately, Alistair? New times. New problems. Was the hero of Ferelden involved in all this? No. She left before any of this began. A mission of her own, something personal. We wardens don't live that long. The calling I spoke of, the real one, before it went crazy. Eventually, it killed her. Thing is, when we killed the Archdemon, we discovered that might not be as set in stone as we thought. She's searching to end the curse. For us both. Maybe for us all. The way you talk about her, I'm surprised you aren't still together. Oh. <laughs> there was a discussion, believe me. Someone had to look into the rumors about Corypheus. We didn't know what was involved at the time. She was going to stay to help, but we had a lead that couldn't wait. One of us had to go. When I'm done here, we'll be together again. Forever this time. How can the calling be stopped? Is that actually possible? Grand Enchanter Fiona was once a warden, so I'm told, but had the taint completely drawn out of her. And there was also a warden named Avernus, who extended his life far beyond what should have been possible. So we looked into it. We weren't going to give up without a fight. And that's when we found a rumor that meant going deep into the West. It wasn't much, but we've done more with less. My love will find a way. I'm certain of it. Have you been happy with her in the years since the Blight? Happier than I ever dreamed possible. She's more than I deserve. And I hope I make her days easier as well. She was rebuilding the Wardens in Ferelden while I hunted Darkspawn left over from the Blight. It was hard work for both of us. But 
we always had each other. If she's been looking for a way to stop the calling, perhaps she could help us. I'll give the information to your people in the war room. If nothing else, I'd like to warn her.